What is your alcoholic beverage of choice? Depends on the situation, but it's hard to go wrong with a nice beer. Hand sanitizer a moment. Yes officer, this one right here, he drank all the medical supplies. Gin and tonic. Bourbon whiskey. Can you explain the flavor difference between bourbon, whiskey, Irish whiskey, etc. Edit. Thanks for the regional and categorical answers but I'm asking if there is a flavor difference that can be described. Bourbon whiskey is aged in new charred oak and usually has notes like vanilla, brown sugar, cherry and or banana. Irish and Scotch don't have the new barrel requirement and usually use used cooperage, which is why they, particularly Scotch, are often aged longer. They are also typically made with only barley as opposed to American grains like corn and rye. Irish tends to be light and floral and with Scotch the taste varies depending on the region of Scotland it was produced in. Speysides, Scottish region, are light, flowery, sweet and grassy with notes like butterscotch and toffee. Islas, Scottish region, are heavy and smoky with an almost barbecue-like taste. Hard cider, usually, occasionally cheap whiskey. Glad I'm not the only hard cider lover. Moscow Mule, easy to make and be delicious. Gin, it's healthy, the vegetable of alcohols. Yes, fitness is my passion. A couple of cucumber slices and a squeeze of lime. Fill glass with ice then fill with gin. Have about three of these and you're cooked. I can't really drink much alcohol, but I love margaritas. Mojito. Okay, I'm gonna put this here because it's important. But I hate the fact that you can't turn down alcohol without people assuming you're either pregnant or recovering alcoholic. Like man sometimes I just don't feel like booze. Are you pregnant though? Yeah I quit a drinking after I left the military. Apparently being a 25 year old that doesn't drink is unusual. Rather than argue about it I just carry around a half empty beer until it's acceptable to stop. Beer, usually a local stout or IPA. Whiskey or scotch. Water. I can't wait to get on the H2O with the boys after quarantine. Meat. Red wine. Good Canadian rye whiskey. Rum and coke bubs. Jägermeister. Not overly keen on bombs but there's just something special about straight Jäger that you can't get with other drinks. Yeah, it's called instant overwhelming nausea. Just leave me and my herb water alone. Drink a whole liter on my 21st birthday. Never. Fucking. Again. Bourbon. Captain Morgan and Coke. Vodka mixes well with everything. Wine. Red wine. White wine. Sparkling wine. Rosé. Anything. Keep cod. Vodka and cranberry juice. Or fireball and apple cider. I also once had a really good blackberry whiskey. But I haven't been able to track down the brand since. Cranberry vodka is a good light drink. I mix fresh lime juice in it too. Try fireball and peach cider if you can find one. Exclamation mark. It is so good. Tito's vodka. Somewhere between two and four shots gives me a very enjoyable buzz I carry out for the rest of the night. I love it. Irish whiskey. Classic gin gimlet. Y'all this is mine too. I get why people are good with gin and tonics but gimlets just have a better taste to it. Love sour drinks. Not a fan of tonic. Had a good laugh when I found out G&T was popularized by Englishmen in India so they could stomach the quinine rich tonic water. Not so they could cut the alcohol taste of the gin. Clorox. Sex on the beach. Now, at least let me finish my drink. Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey, it's so smooth and you don't even need it chaser. Weed, I bet you inject it too, s. So I don't drink this very often because apparently if you're a straight male like myself then you have to drink beer or hard liquor. And I hate beer and can't casually drink hard liquor. My favorite thing to drink is cranberry juice mixed with Malibu Rum is here the sweetness of the Malibu reacts really well with the tartness of the cranberry juice. And I absolutely love it. And just because I drink that doesn't mean I like men. Bloody Mary, 
A good craft beer, specifically a double or triple IPA with a good profile that trends towards dank and juicy. Mezcal I just turned 21 a few days ago, and I've tried many beverages, such as beer, whiskey, rum, vodka, and tequila. They all tasted terrible to me. How do y'all live like this? Maybe try fruitier drinks. Mike's heart often is made fun of, but it has a higher ABV than most beers. I find this shuts up most of my buddies who have tried to mock me for drinking it. And tastes pretty decent, as far as harder liquors. When you've had a really shit day and you want to forget your life, you'll understand, whether you're talking straight shots or mixed drinks. They're an acquired taste, whether you want to acquire it is up to you, of course. Be glad you don't enjoy it and know that you don't have to drink to enjoy yourself or life. And if you find people who say otherwise then fuck them monsieur. Try Malibu rum and pineapple juice, or a strawberry margarita. I almost did a double take drinking Malibu for the first time. Definitely doesn't taste like rum but it's fantastic in its own right. Just keep drinking whiskey for lunch pretty much anything that doesn't taste like black licorice and doesn't have light in the label don't like anise you should try absinthe carrot 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 s anxiety a pint of blue moon with a slice of orange i currently teaching abroad and am missing it sidecar my favorite cocktail what's your recipe we do a version with rye or bourbon contro lemon juice and simple syrup instead of sugaring the rim remy martin vsop contro lemon juice and i add sugar to the ice cubes in the shaker because i'm a monster i usually rim my glass on the first second third anything goes i went to the bahamas and visited a rum factory where they made me my first frozen pina colada and it was the bomb spicy bloody mary's Good old Jack and Coke on the rocks. Vodka martini, shaken not stirred. I recently went down a rabbit hole of how to make the perfect martini. What ratio of vodka to vermouth do you like? 1 ounce vodka versus turning tightly closed vermouth bottle so that the label faces the drink. Bow twice in the direction of Italy whilst drinking vodka. Cannabis wine. Go on. Cannabines bioavailable cannabis infused wines mindfully crafted Napa Valley, California. So you can get drunk and high at the same time? Replying late, but my main drink is called a Mio Vodka, where you take a bottle of water, empty it halfway, fill it a third with vodka, and the rest with Mio water flavoring. Can't taste the vodka, and you only need two for a good buzz. It's also cheap. That's definitely good on a budget. Bourbon, specifically Buffalo Trace. Amaretto Sour Whiskey. Amaretto Sour? Surely it has a bit of hard alcohol in it, right? Not just a liqueur and mixer? No judgment though. Amaretto can have anywhere between 21 to 28%. ABV 42 to 68% proof. Per volume. It depends on the brand. Next time you're at a bar, you should try it out. It's really sweet and delicious. I most certainly will. If you like sweet, try a brain hemorrhage. It's a shot of peach schnapps with a few drops of grenadines at the bottom. Then you pour in a shot of Bailey's Irish cream slowly and it looks like a brain bleeding. Super sweet. So sweet a buddy found out he was diabetic after a shot. Oh, sounds good. I'll check it out. Thanks. Maker's Mark Whiskey. I don't even like drinking I just need something to get through being alone during quarantine. A good friend of mine and I were out to the bars after a football game last semester. He'd recently broken up with his ex and was getting back out there. So we were chatting up some girls. She was in the same bar and saw, and she did not like that at all. As it turns out, she went up to the bartender and ordered nine double makers Mark and Cokes that did not go over well. IDKU Holden. Rum and Coke with a lime. Disarono Sour. Gimlet. It's just gin and a dash of lime juice. Has just a bit more taste than the more classic gin and tonic and the sour really helps the gin go down easy. The real Gimlet is made with roses lime cordial. 
rather than lime juice. This line brought to you by Terry Lennox. The kinds that gets you hammered. Rum and coke with a splash of cherry grenadine. Hand sanitizer. Fernet con coca. Google it smiley face. My favorite. None. I am fucking 13, so beer of course. Stout. Milk stout and porter are probably my favorites. But you can't ever go wrong with a freshly poured Guinness. Fun fact. The words Portugal. Port. The side of the boat. The drink. And the place where ships park. And porter. The drink and person who moves shit. All share a common history. A good crisp Australian lager or pale ale or a dark rum like Horuba. Your username is great. Thank you for taking an interest in my hobby. Budweiser, it's the king of beer. Good old Modelo beer. Lately I've been drinking a variation on rum and coke with coconut rum cocktail mix and cherry coke. Or sometimes various craft sodas if I'm feeling experimental. Unlike a regular rum and coke it foams up like a root beer float and tastes pretty damn close to it. 2. Too sweet for sipping after a long day at work. But man, is it a great dessert drink? Depends. Mixed drink or standalone? For standalone, I go with Angry Orchard. Doesn't even taste like alcohol. For mixed, I created a drink I call Monkey Food. Fill a glass one third of the way with cola of any kind. Next, fill it another one third of the way with root beer. Finally, fill it up the rest of the way with orange soda. Add a splash of whiskey. Jura, single malt whiskey. Just in a glass. No ice. No nothing. Down the hatch. Irish car bomb. Beer. Cold. Free. Guinness. You're either Irish or a good taste. Both. At least I believe so. Nice one. Bullet bourbon. A good IPA. Chardonnay. And a good Pinot Noir. I love them all. A good old cup of I don't drink XD. Budweiser King Cans. What's a king can? A 20 ounces can I think? I've never heard of them but all we have here in Colorado are the tall boys 24 ounces can. Tall boy is 16 ounces 24 is a deucer or bomber where I come from. Fire Rock Pale Ale 1. Jim Beam Bonded in Bond 2. Jack Daniels No 7. 3. Captain Morgan White Rum 4. Labatt Blue 5. Jack Daniels Rye Whiskey. You drinking these with mixers? If not, get yourself a decent rum mate. Morgan's is honkin'. Can get nice 12 to 15 yo malts for the price of Jack DS as well. Dirty Hendrix Martinis All Night. Sazerac. What is? New Orleans Rye Whiskey. Sounds nice. One thing I envy about the states is your selection of whiskey. Oh I can appreciate that. Where are you living without that diverse selection? New Zealand. We have lots of imports. It's just costly. Mostly I just drink Canadian Club because it's cheap. Sometimes I'll get a bottles of Jameson's. Oh my goodness. Canadian Club? I'm so sorry. Jameson is good on occasion but my god man. I feel so bad. Like, if you have an address P.O. box you're comfortable sharing I will send you a good bottle. Haha <laughs> thanks for the offer. But I couldn't ask that of you. It's not so bad. I don't really know what I'm missing. This. Bud Light. I can't drink much but blackberry cider when I can. I don't like alcohol, but if I choose it will be a vodka. Irish whiskey, IPAs and Cabernet. Soju. Straight up soju or flavored. Straight up, but flavored is nice also. Vodka Red Bulls if I'm out partying Bud Light for the beach Yingling chilling at home. I Vodka Red Bulls. Went way too hard on those once that next morning was miserable. I know your feeling. Although my doom came from jungle juice. To this day I still come not to drink Hawaiian Fruit Punch Cool Aid. Same boat. That stuff is horrible. Prosecco. I find it to be bubbly yet refreshing. Something I resonate with. What's the name of that Pitbull song? Oh yay, Fireball. Mediterranean Mule. Cheap whiskey plus soda. Depends on the setting but go to is a Moscow Mule. Although if I can find a place that can make a decent jalapeno margarita then that's the number one choice. 
cough syrup him, whatever's in the fridge. But seriously, I enjoy mules a lot. Whiskey mules in Moscow, vodka, mules. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.